everyone, welcome back to another video. We are out here on the boat and we are doing some rockfish hunting, I guess. <laughs> and look at rockfish fishing. Rockfish fishing. We got Rachel and Oliver and I. Um, and yeah, our main target are big sheephead, but we'll take rockfish as well. And we have some interesting stuff for bait today. Look at that bad boy. Dang, I think it looks pretty tasty. We got some shrimp that Oliver picked up. We got frozen shrimp. Were those ones frozen? frozen cooked shrimp? Cooked, yeah. Cooked shrimp, uncooked, and we got some blue, off, dude. some blue crab here that we're gonna chunk up and uh, drop down for, like I said, hopefully trying to catch some big sheephead. Um, we're using this bait instead of like squid or anything like that because this these spots out here have a lot of white fish on them. And uh, yeah, we're specifically targeting the sheephead because one, they're fun to catch, two, they're pretty delicious. So we're using this type of bait because it will limit our bycatch. Oliver's gonna drop real quick, just mark some fish. But um, but yeah, using this type of bait, the, those sheephead love to eat the crustaceans and stuff like that. So hopefully we'll pull on some good ones. I have caught probably my PB sheephead on just a naked jig on a lingcod spot. Really? Yeah, probably low 20s. Really? Is that yeah. English? Just ask if that was in English. I have no idea what you just said, and he's like, "Really? Like, what oh, did that even off. mean?" <laughs> I love it. <laughs> really? Uh, I've got some life down there. The shrimp's getting some attention. Is it? And you got a, you got a. Oh, and we're fed though. Nice. How did you know? Oh, that's cool. I don't have a, a proper slow pitch rod yet. I just ordered some Gancraft ones and some Nomad ones, but uh, making do with the Mega Bass Valkyrie World Edition, just pretty weird uh, blank specs, six and a half foot, uh, but it's working. <laughs> hey, it's Rachel. There we go. We got a sheep. That's a sheep. Head? Apparently, Rachel means lamb. <laughs> and this is a little sheep. Oh my gosh. Hey, that's, e that's an eater size right yeah. there. That's perfect eater size. How Minimum size that? is 12 inches. 12 inches. That's a keeper. Check that out, guys. That's awesome. Yay! The shrimp on the cast, 60 gram jig. It works. This first drop, bad luck, like first cast in bass fishing. <laughs> We're going to find out, aren't we? That's awesome. That's so cool. We got, it. we got life. Look at that rod too. You gotta be patient. You get a lot of small white fish or undersized uh, sheep head that'll pick your bait right off the hook. There's your bottom. And there's some fish. Now, one thing that I like to stress is not setting the hook. We're in 150 feet of water here and if you swing up to try to drive that hook into their mouth you're going to create a bunch of slack at the top of your hook setting motion and it's way more efficient to just wind them onto the hook. There's no slack. Hey! Tree fish! <laughs> Whoa! Look at that! It's always a cool looking fish. Sweet! Decent eating. They like scrapes too. Yeah, dude, I've never caught a, a tree fish off of this spot. That's cool. So, Kel, saltwater fishing. It's like a box of chocolates. Yeah, but wait, do you know why they call them tree fish? No. Because they smell like a Christmas tree. Bullsh. No. I mean, BS. Smell it. Come on. No way. I'm not stupid. Are you sure? Yeah. That's why they call them it. Okay. Huh? Cool, then you smell it. <sighs> it is almost Christmas. Yeah. She's smart. <laughs> we tried to get her with the uh, the old sport boat trick. When people lean in to smell it, you slap them across the face <laughs> with the fish. Would you have done that? No. <laughs> no, never. Yeah, yeah. No. You're too smart for that. I would have. I'm actually kind of curious to eat this thing. Yeah, keep them. Keep them. I've had them before. They're actually pretty tasty. Yeah. Keep them. That's It'll great. keep. Let's go. Oh. 
ahead and try like a little stone here. Got one. You bet? Mm -hmm. Nice, mm -hmm. nice and steady. Yeah, yeah it's still on there. I see that rod tip. Rachel's got one. Yep, that's perfect. Oh, a little red. Hey. There we go, a little rockfish. Look at all the stuff he just coughed up. He literally just coughed up a bunch of squid. He just coughed up a bunch of squid. All right, and he ate the, he ate the cooked one. So Rachel just got first her first fish of the day. Nice red vermilion rockfish. <laughs> Hi. But it coughed up a bunch of squid, which might make sense as to why we're not getting bit more because there's a ton of fish on the graph. Let me uh, cut. Was I? Crap. Of course I would be. Here. Oh. Ugh. Oh, oh god. Wait, can I pick him up? Or is he spiky? We're on. Grab by the mouth like a bat. Yeah, just, uh, just leave him there. He's not going anywhere. Where are the eyeballs? There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rod holder bite. <laughs> I just put my hand. No, you what? Never. Oh, uh, got color. Oh, I got a double, I think. What do we got here? Hey. Red and a tree fish. What? That red, see, that red got that gold, man. That's a nice red. Nice red and another tree fish. So we get to try one of these guys, too. Show me up. A nice little double. Cool. All right. First couple of fish for me. Nice little double. We got a tree fish and a red. I'd love to do a like a side by side taste comparison on these two here. So we're gonna throw those in the in the ice. We got Rachel with her first fish of the day. Not giant reds, but honestly, these are perfect eating size. I think. I like. Um. I mean, she came out on the road with them pretty quickly. Oh, we got a bite over here. Kind of slow pickings, but we're working at it, huh? See, even when Riley's not here, <laughs> your vibes are just so amazingly positive. <laughs> you just talk about her. This fish oh, come found, from the depths. I found a rock. See? Oh, there are rocks down there. Got it. Is that why they call them rockfish? I think, I think that might be why. Uh, don't be jelly. Oh! But I've got another sheepy. Nice. I don't know what they do. Meh. And that's another keeper. That's, that's the sick. perfect eating size one. Perfect. Nice, dude. On the jig, huh? Yeah, on the yee. You bit up there, Rachel? Yeah. That's cool. Rachel's Anytime you can catch sheephead on artificial. That's awesome. Yeah. It's a little that's bit right. better one too, huh? Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. There we go. There that's it is. Are you on, Rachel? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I think I am, but then other times I'm like definitely not. Yeah, I think, nope. Okay, so. Oh, sorry. Doing battle. Oh, look, Mola Mola. Mola Mola, little baby one. Right here. He's swimming over there. Nice, there we go, a little red. Okay. Yeah, look, he's right here, a little baby Mola Mola. Check that guy out. Didn't we see hey. one? Hey! Little tiny one, little, little frisbee Mola yeah. Mola. Well, it has been a grind today. We are marking a lot of fish, but as I said earlier, I think there's been some squid, a lot of squid in the area, so these fish might just be full. Let's go on time if we're gonna have more, really. Okay, I definitely oh, got Oh, yo, that's life. Oh yeah. Oh that's, nice, oh, nice, yeah. nice, Keep nice. Steady, steady, there you go. Let go, steady, left steady. leg up. Yeah. 
Go, go. Steady, steady, steady. There it is. <laughs> oh, I love oh, no. Stay. Oh, double. oh, double. Uh oh, is the tide switching or we got some wind going here? Bite's starting to turn on a bit, maybe? It feels like I lost. No, you didn't. You got him. Oh, it's a whitefish. That's what keeps stealing all our bait. <sighs> Well, it's my first white fish, so I'll take it. Yeah. Add it to the list. Delicious. Yeah, they are delicious. Are they? Poor man's yellowtail. You did good. You did good, Rachel. Thank nice. You. Look at you got him right in the bottom. Ooh! <laughs> oh! Look at he popped. He just puked up. Angry, angry. Another little red. Red on the G. There we go. All right, all right. You're coming. Home. Starting to pick him, pick him apart here. I think that explains why we are missing a lot of fish. Is those white fish right there will pick you clean. Look at, didn't even get that hook really in the mouth. If you want to target these whitefish, you definitely want to use a smaller hook. As you can tell, they have a tiny little, tiny little mouth. But we'll take this guy home. We'll try him. We'll do like a comparison. Taste test. Yup. Yay! Oh, is he bit? There we go. Pretty sure you gotta have the correct upper leg yeah dude that is the rockfish stance if i've ever seen yeah, one there you go. nice another giant red no doubt what'd you get rachel nothing there's nothing to see here oh what is these aminals hey! whoa oh! barber pole the old barber what is pole. that dude awesome that's cool you don't see those very often around here either Nice. Wait, what is that? Type of rockfish called a barber pole, for obvious reasons. How cool is that, huh? Wait, it's a that jig. Fun? That's sweet. You're catching all the cool fish. <laughs> 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 I like see us reeling up a fish. Ooh. Sort of God, if this is another white fish. Is it? No, I. If it is. <laughs> white fish disappointment. No, so this is a big one. Pull him over. Let's see that bad boy. Yes. Nice. I'm proud of this one. I'm really proud of this one. You should be. That's a, that's actually a decent red. That was the 11 11 wish, wasn't it? Oh. Yeah, but I asked for a sheep head. Here you go. Can I, um, <gasps> stop. Can I hold it right here yeah. on the side? Yeah. I don't want it to bite down it on my won't. hand. It will not. Look at Why are you so trembly? Because I just caught a big fish. Look at the size of this thing. Excited. Give a thumbs up if you guys enjoy Rachel. <laughs> subscribe subscribe like and subscribe so it's the next morning uh, i'm just going to run through and fillet some of those rockfish that we caught yesterday uh, i already did fillet uh, the sheephead yesterday i filleted some of oliver's fish for him because um, he had to go to something that evening so he couldn't do it himself but i got my fish sitting here on ice so i'm just going to run through them real quick show you guys how i like to fillet him so what I was thinking of doing is kind of like a taste test in between all the few different species that we got, try to see which one we like better. Uh, Rachel has never had rockfish before, so it's going to be interesting to see how she likes it. But yeah, let's fly some of these up. Should be pretty tasty. I haven't had tree fish in a while, so I'll put him up there. Like I said, there's that, that sheephead fillet. Nice red. Red there. A couple more reds in there and then the white fish. So we will have four species to try when I cook it later. And we'll see, uh, one, if there's any difference at all, or uh, two, if we have a, we have like a preference on which one we prefer. But let's cut these guys up real quick. Tree fish actually looks pretty good. Nice white meat there. Um, I am gonna leave the skin on all of these fish. One, because I'm still on the water, and two, once we get uh, once we get home, I want to be able to tell which fish is which, and I only have one. <laughs> I only have one Ziploc bag, so I'm gonna leave the skin on for now. Let's get into this red.
And again, I like to do that head cut there, a nice shallow like score down uh, down the back here, and then you can really let that knife just kind of glide down towards the spine, slowly picking away. Once I hit the spine, I'll just poke right through there on these smaller rockfish and cut to the tail. Um, again, I leave, once I've kind of traced it out like that, I like to leave the fillet on the fish and then do the same thing to the other side because when that fillet is on this side still, the fish, or the fish lays flat. So if you were to remove that, it kind of lays kind of at an angle and it just makes it a little bit harder to cut in my opinion. Obviously do whatever, pull them however you want to. I'm just, something I've learned over the over the years, tracing the fish, keeping that fillet on the other side for now works. Um, removing the head also works too if you wanted to cut the head off first and then you can remove the fillet whenever you want. But just a little tip, try it if you want to, see if it works for you. Cut down towards the tail there, and then once I've traced out both sides, it makes it really easy to just hold the fish up, cut through those pin bones. And there you go. So it gets there. Nice little little red but that meat looks delicious comparing the two the tree fish has much more like opaque like white flesh where that red is definitely a little more pink kind of looks like a almost like a yellow tail but let's see if there's any taste difference later And again, since I'm in the harbor, you're not allowed to dump your fish in the harbor. So I'm just gonna throw these in here. For now, we'll take care of those later. Got two more little reds in there. So let's see, we'll do those last, but let's cut in this white fish and see how this one kind of compares to the tree fish and the red. Do the same thing, just do the head cut first and then slowly cut down towards the spine just peeling away a little bit of the of the meat at, at a time cut to the tail we'll flip them over uh yeah again yesterday was it was pretty slow for us a lot of those fish that we caught were coughing up a lot of squid definitely not the best rock fishing that i've experienced but we had great weather and uh we had a lot of laughs good time on the water regardless but this is this honestly is plenty of, of fish for us anyways more than enough and I'm, I'm excited to do a little taste test here I haven't had whitefish in a while but it is it is known to be pretty pretty tasty not a very highly sought after fish especially along the coast they don't get too big for us here on the coast at least uh, in my experience but let's see that actually looks pretty good too. Nice look, nice clean little fillet there. That, that the color of that actually looks a lot more similar to the the red than it does the tree fish. Let's see. So we got the red, the white fish in the middle, and then the tree fish is that a really opaque white looking flesh. But yeah, definitely excited to give that a try see which one we like better all right sorry i forgot to show you guys the sheephead too so filleted this one yesterday there's the sheephead meat definitely you can feel that it's definitely a lot softer than the other the other rockfish here there's that tree fish white fish and then the red overall i think i think the red looks looks the best as far as just the the flesh look in there but yeah i'm excited to uh to get get back cook these up and see which one we like better back in the kitchen now um, we were really trying to decide what we wanted to make with the rockfish and we were both craving some tempura so what we're going to do is do like a little taste test with some tempura fish and also some veggies so what we're going to do is we got some miso soup uh, packets here so we're going to make some miso soup we're going to make some uh, some rice add some seasoning on there and then i'm going to make like a tempura sauce with a little little mirin a little soy sauce 
Uh, obviously, we gotta have some sake as well. Uh, I'm gonna use just some cheap vegetable oil to cook the fish in, and then use this tempura batter uh, with like a little beer batter style to dip all the veggies and fish in. But yeah, veggies, we're gonna try mushrooms, zucchini, carrots, and onion. But uh, I'm really interested to see uh, if we can taste a difference because I've been told by a lot of people that when you fry fish it all tastes the same but in my experience in my opinion it really doesn't you can still taste the flavor of the fish the texture of the fish so we have the four species of fish that we caught we got the tree fish sheephead the vermilion rockfish or red snapper and then we have the white fish fillet here so I'll flip these over so you guys can get another look at the flesh itself uh, we wrapped them in paper towels and had them uh, in the fridge overnight. But again, I think visually appealing, the, the red definitely looks like the best to me. Uh, the sheep head, like I said, when I was filleting them, definitely a much softer, uh, softer uh, flesh fish. Curious how that tree fish is going to taste, but I don't know. What do you think, Rachel? Which one looks best to you? Um, I actually... This one. Yeah, the, I think the red. But there's only one way to... Uh, white fish. Tree fish? Tree fish. I know, isn't it weird? The tree fish has got the whitest yeah. flesh and the white fish is actually very similar to the red. But yeah, we're going to give that a shot. Yeah, we got the sheep head there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish cutting the skin off and trimming any of the bones left around the, uh, the bellies here and then we're going to get started. Alright, so we have the first four, red, white fish, and then these last little five pieces of that. That's the tree fish. The sheep head is cooking right now, so I think it's time that uh, we have Rachel be the, uh, won't be the taste tester and yeah. let us know. Alright. Sure. Alright, so we're, we're going to do red first. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, okay, so no sauces, though, the first you're, time. You're not doing sauce? I mean, I can. For a bite? Do a bite without? I want to do, like, an original bite, just, okay. like, all right, red. Yep. Caught this fish myself. This is the one you caught? Yep. Uh -huh. What? 
Look at that. It's delicious. You good? Mm -hmm. Nice flaky. Oh, mm -hmm. still, it looks like it's still warm too. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. No sauce. Delicious. All right, set yeah, it on the guys. set it on the side. Next one. So we gotta go four down. I think that that's. This one is. What was the next one? That is white white fish. White fish. So also caught this one. Yep. You caught these two. Hmm. Also delicious. So everyone, different. Is it different? A lot of people say fried fish all just tastes the same. No. No, What's, no, 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 any, no. Any noticeable differences? Um, ooh, I would say that it's like a little bit weird. That one, I don't know if this is weird or not, but it's sweeter. The whitefish is sweeter? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. All right. So let's move on. Okay. To, actually, that might still be a little hot. We know that I can. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. What's this one? That is the tree fish. The tree fish that oh, no. she didn't fall for the joke, but let's see if it's tasty. It's hot. Yeah. Mmm. It's good. I will say that tastes a lot like the red snapper. It's it's similar to the red. Like basically the same taste. Interesting. Yeah. But the white fish was sweeter. There was like a little sweeterness in the white fish. Any difference in the texture yet? No. No? No, but weirdly enough, it maybe, maybe, maybe it was just because it was hot, but the mm. texture looks a little bit different. It does. Looks yeah. smoother. Could have been just the, yeah, the angle of the cut or like mm -hmm. the, the filet, but yeah, we've just been grazing on the rice. Got our miso soup. Working on the onion. Dude, the onion turned out so good. I don't know why we don't yes. temper a, I'm gonna grab, go ahead and dip this guy here. Tempura veggies more, but that is so good. It tastes kind of like a like a bloomin' onion or when you're at the fair. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Bloomin' onion, Outback Steakhouse. Mm-hmm. We still have zucchini and carrots to do. Sheep head's almost done. Initial thoughts, initial favorite. Um, red snapper, duh. Yeah. Not even. Okay. Okay, red was delicious. Let's try the white fish here. Hmm. It is sweeter and it has a like a more of a little bit of a fishy aftertaste. The white fish does. And it's like the texture is almost a little stringy here. Did you get that too? Yep. It was a fishy aftertaste. It, yeah, the texture is way different. Huh. It's a different texture. Even like you have to get through the like tempura battered part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Let's try the tree fish. Okay, so this is the one that I thought was like similar, just like the yeah. snapper. That's so good. Mm. It is very similar to the red. You're right. This is a little more firm though. Yeah. A little more firm. I think there's something about having the white fish in between too. Mixing it up. Yeah. It's like cleanse your palate. I think that's my favorite so far. The tree fish? Mm -hmm. Wait, you gotta try sheep head. Is that what this is? The last. Oh man. Okay. Oh man, sheep head. We've been waiting. It's hot. Too hot? You wanna wait a second? No, I can do it. I'm showing no sauce. A little warm. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I would say that's definitely, I would almost say that it doesn't have as much flavor as the other ones. The texture 
is spot on. It's like soft and fluffy. But in terms of flavor, I taste it less than I've tasted the other ones. But it's good. Like, it's very good. Huh. No? You don't like it? That's my least favorite. Yeah, but like, it's... The consistency is good. The texture is good. Okay, so that's like the difference though, is you just had all of them. I had those three and then I took a break and yeah. then I just ate that. So if you try this again in a second by itself, it might be different. Maybe. Yeah. That one's definitely my least favorite. I've tried sheep in many different ways too. And still, I don't love it. One thing I've never done it's is- more is the, fishy than any It's definitely, one. it's so soft. It's almost like too soft. Like yeah. I like fish that's a little firm. Yes. And I think that's why I like that tree fish the best. It was the definitely the soft. I could, yeah, I'd go, let's let Rachel, what do you think, rate it? For me, it's always going to be snapper first. Okay. Snapper, tree fish. White fish? White fish. And then sheep head? Sheep head. I would do, the only thing I would change, I'd, I'd go tree fish on top of the red. It might have just been the, the filet that I had or the bite that I had, but I just oh, liked it. It was a sense. little bit, it was a little bit more firm. All right. But, um, whoa, still learning the gimbal here. It's got me. <laughs> but thanks so much for watching this video, guys. If you like this content, please hit the subscribe button. Leave some comments down below if you guys have a preference or anything else, any recipes, anything else you want to see us cook any fish you want to see us target, any of that stuff for the future. But yeah, thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one.